Today's recipe you can't resist as this prawn gyros is spicy, is juicy and absolutely irresistible. Cook with my special homemade gyros masala, paste this Mongolian style prawn gyros, pack some serious flavors. And this spice blend made from scratch make the best prawn gyros you could have which is way better than takeaway. Hello and welcome back to my channel cooking story and this is Smitha. So let's begin today spicy prawn stir fry and the ingredients are fresh coriander leaves, lemon, turmeric, salt and coriander powder with that some whole spices black pepper whole, poppy seed, mustard seed, coriander and cumin seed, cashew, red chili whole and our lovely prawns. First of all, you need to de-shell and de it and then clean it thoroughly. Once you are done, then into this add half teaspoon of salt and turmeric powder and then marinate it for 10 to 15 minutes before cooking it. And of course, if you don't want to de-shell the entire portion, you can keep the tail portion so that it looks nice when you do the curry and also for the presentation purpose. After that, keep the marinade prawns on a side. Next, onto a heated pan, we will dry roast the whole spices. First of all, add 1 teaspoon of cumin seed. Then add 1 and a half teaspoon of coriander seeds. 1 teaspoon of mustard seed. 5 to 8 black paper whole. And 1 teaspoon of poppy seed. Next, roast them in a medium-high flame until it turns aromatic. Do you know that this recipe is so easy and quick, you can make it within 20 minutes. Just prepare the ghee roast masala, combine it with prawns and seven on low heat and it's done. Next, remove this roasted masala in a mixer grinder and then add four to five red chili whole and five to eight cashew. So depend upon your taste bud, you add the red chili and the black pepper corn. After that, add lukewarm water and make a fine paste. And once you've done the paste, keep aside for the next part of the recipe. And the masala will look like this. Now, in the same pan, add 2 tablespoons of clarified butter. And once it heat up, then add the masala paste which you have done just now. After adding the masala, keep on stirring in a medium high flame until the raw smell of the masala goes away and oil start to release. Though in between you need to add salt as per your taste and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Quickly stir it well for 3 to 4 minutes or until the water disappears and all start to release from all the sides. Now it is a perfect time to add our marinated prawn as you can see from this video. I am adding 350 grams of marinated prawns. After adding the prawns quickly stir it well and if you think if the spice tends to stick to the bottom of the pan add a splash or two of water but not much as then it will become watery. After stirring well then add 1 tablespoon of clarified butter or you can say ghee, half teaspoon of coriander powder, few curry leaves and 2 tablespoon of lemon juice though in this ghee rose especially Tamarind paste goes in, but in place of tamarind paste, I am using lemon juice. If you don't want to add lemon juice, you can always go with the traditional recipe with the tamarind paste. After stirring it for 4 to 5 minutes, you will see our ghee roast prawn is perfectly done and it's time to remove it from the pan and serve hot. You can always have this with neat dosa, roti or rice of your choice. And finally, this Mongolian style spicy prawn heroes that are definitely hard to resist. And if you don't want to miss any episode of my food channel, then what you need to do is to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So when I upload my next yummy delicious recipe, you get the notification first. 
Till then, stay healthy, stay wealthy, enjoy this summer. See you again. Enjoy!